Welcome back to Dear Veronica, everyone. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. A couple of weeks ago, we ended the show with an emoji poll about audiobooks versus reading. Here were your options, and here are your responses. Traditionalists, the lot of you. Reading books still reigns supreme for you guys. Our first question today caught my eye because it mentions one of my favorite books. Let's hear what Chris has to say. Dear Veronica, I just finished reading Ready Player One, and my love for classic 80s and 90s games has been reinvigorated. Sadly, I don't have an Atari 2600 or Nintendo anymore, so what are the best game system emulators I can find for my Mac? iPhone? I guess for all your viewers who use PCs or Android, you can mention those too. Thanks! Well, Chris, unfortunately, I'm not a big emulator gal. I'm still kicking myself for not saving my Nintendo and 50-odd games that I had. I sold them all to Brian down the street. Hope Brian still has them, at least. Brian! Anyway, resident classic game fan Timothy Seppala has an answer for you. Hey there, thanks for your question. Now, before I get into recommending an emulator, I have to let you know that downloading those programs is legal, but the games themselves, called ROMs, isn't. Well, maybe. Kind of. It's complicated, but just know that you're going to be doing this at your own risk. Now, with all that being said, the Open Emu emulator is a great NES emulator for Mac because it has a really simple drag and drop interface. And if you're looking for something for Atari, you should check out Stella. Or you should actually go out and see if you can hit a garage sale and find some of these old consoles because nothing really beats having one of those old controllers in your hand. Thanks, Tim. You can follow him here at Engadget or on Twitter under the handle Tim Seppala. Up next, a question from a streaming media fan on Twitter called at DJ George with a three. Dear Veronica, how do I listen to podcasts on Spotify? The short answer is that if you don't see the shows section on your app, you can't. Spotify announced back in May that it's adding a bunch of new features to the service, including video, fitness, and wait for it, podcasts. A lot of this is under the new category called shows, which has already begun to roll out for some users, and unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I went to Twitter to ask Spotify what the deal was, and they said they don't have a date yet for the launch, but that it's rolling out gradually. But if you love podcasts and don't want to use iTunes, I can definitely recommend Overcast. I use it every day, and it's great for discovering, sharing, and listening to podcasts. But keep checking back on Spotify. It could show up for you anytime. Next, we have an iMac question from Stigeon? Stigeon? Stigeon. Dear Veronica, I love watching your shows, so keep up the good work. I absolutely love my iMac 2012, 27-inch, but it can be so slow sometimes. What can I do to make it go faster? Thanks. For me, whenever my machine is running more slowly than usual, I first make a check of all the apps that I have that are launching on startup. To see those, go to Settings, Users and Groups, and then click over to Login Items. Just remove the ones you don't need. Also, check Activity Monitor to make sure there aren't any applications hogging up your CPU. But for a more drastic change, look at adding more RAM. Now, I'm not sure how much you've started with, but there are instructions for replacing the RAM yourself on Apple's support page. Now, they'll say that some computers can only take 4 gigabytes, but you can actually use 8 gigabytes, 16, whatever. Get at least 16 gigs and you should be in good shape. And swap the hard drive for an SSD. That's going to take a little more effort, but it's absolutely worth it. iFixit has the details if you're feeling industrious. The combo of more RAM and an SSD will really have you chugging along quite nicely. Thanks to everyone for your questions this week. If you have something that you want me to answer, send it on in to veronica at engadget.com or on Twitter using the hashtag Dear Veronica. Remember that you can also watch the show on YouTube or subscribe in iTunes. Links will be in the show notes. I'll see you next time. Now the short answer is that you don't. <clears throat> A couple of weeks ago, we ended the show with an emoji poll. Emoji. Oh. <laughs> Brian. Anyway, I was so bad. <laughs> At DJ George three. <laughs> three. Do you see other take? This, you just fine. Just use the other take. Okay. Up next, a question about streaming. Nope. Yeah.